Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair like this using no heat and literally it is so easy. So if you want to see how I did this then please keep watching. Okay, so I've literally just washed my hair, I shampooed twice, twice, <laughs> and conditioned and left my conditioner on for a fair, like about five minutes, rinsed it off. I've literally just let my hair air dry for a little bit. So as you can see, it's getting a little bit dry in the ends. It's still pretty wet up here. Um, so we're going to start. So I've just brushed my hair through and I'm going to be using this. It's a 10 leave in miracle product treatment thing. It's basically just a conditioning spray and it does 10 things. So I'm literally just going to spray this all the way through my hair. And then I'm just going to take the Bib Royal and it's a hair treatment with argan oil and it smells like Harry Bows, honestly. It smells lovely. So I'm just going to rub this through my hands all the way through, not just in the fingertips. And then I'm literally just going to do this all the way down. So because my hair is quite frizzy, this is why I'm putting these products in, just to try help it tame my hair a little bit. If you haven't got frizzy hair, you don't need to worry about this stuff. Um, it just helps look after your hair and keep it healthy. So I'm actually trying to grow my hair for the winter just because we're going to have a lot of wet days and I want to be able to tie my hair up into a bun. I'm not too far off where I need it to be able to get it nice and high. Um, but we'll literally, this is why I'm trying to put no heat on my hair. So this is my favourite hairstyle at the moment. So I'm just going to make sure my pattern's in the centre now. And I'm going to take it all the way down the back. And then I'm just going to put a bobble on this half just so it's out of the way whilst I do the other side. Okay, so for the next bit, you're gonna need either four bobbles or these small mini ones. I think I got this from like Wilco's, it was like a pound for the whole box. I'm gonna be using these because I feel like they stay in better overnight. So now I'm just gonna split this section into half again. And I'm gonna do the front side first. Starting off from fairly high up, we're gonna to start to braid the hair. So three sections, taking the outside underneath and swapping sides, if that makes sense. And then adding a bit as we go. This helps us get the waves starting from up here and not just this little section, especially if your hair's short. You want to try to start your braid as high as possible just so that you don't feel like you've just got this tiny bit of curl or wave on the ends. Every time I do this, I always feel like the girl off that um, Saturday Night song where she goes out with four braids. <laughs> so funny. So I'm going all the way to the bottom as far down as we can. You want to try and get as low as possible otherwise you end up with this little straight bit. And it it's just, I'm not about that. So now we're nice and low, I'm just taking my little bobble and I'm just gonna tie the end. I'm just gonna do the other three sections exactly the same as I've done this side. So I've braided my hair into four braids now. I look absolutely crazy, but it's okay because literally I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the night and then go to bed and then in the morning we'll take these out. Okay, so it's now the next morning. I slept in my braids and they look a little bit messier than they did when I last saw you guys. Um, I literally just got up, did my makeup, and now we're gonna tackle this situation. So I'm literally just gonna take all the bubbles out to start with. I ended up having to put another bobble around this one because the bobble fell out before I went to bed. And then I'm just going to take this last one out. But now, I literally, I start from the bottom and I'm just going to untwist all the hair. Before you do this, you want to just check that your hair's definitely dry. So what I like to do is it's normally at the top where it dries last. So go 
put your finger underneath the braid and just try to separate the hair and if it is wet you'll be able to feel some dampness but this is completely dry now so I'm just going to take this front one out I literally like to just start from the bottom and bring it out don't worry if you feel like it looks a bit crazy because it always does to start with so take this side out too okay and then the last one So I look funny anyway because I never have a middle part in but that's how I like to put the braids in. So now I'm going to take the oil that we used last night and I'm just going to take two pumps to start with. You might find you want to add a little bit more, just see how you go. So what I like to do is literally, I'm not running my fingers through because that's going to create more frizz. I'm like pulling it, if that makes sense. I'm just making sure it's coated. All the way through the back as well. Next, we're gonna put our pattern back in. If this is where your pattern is, then leave it there. Um, but when my hair's curly, I like to have it on this side. I just sort of go from somewhere in my eyebrow. See how it looks. And then I like to tuck it behind my ear just like this but because my hair's quite thick anyway and we start the braids quite high up my hair's already got quite a bit of body to it i'm not too bothered about adding any more because normally the first day i feel like my hair's a bit too big anyway like it's settled down as the days go on um so what i do though if you find your hair's maybe just feeling a little bit too flat still get some dry shampoo and just spray it into your roots do a bit of this and that will give you a bit of body. Um, so as you can see like on this side, I have a couple of frizzy bits. So what I'm gonna do is take my got to be beach matte matte paste and literally, I'm just gonna take a little bit, like nothing, run it through my hands and then I'll actually just squeeze in my hair. And if there's any really frizzy bits, just pay a little bit of attention to them and it just helps to tame them a little bit and then I like to just run a bit through here because I like this bit tucked behind and it just helps to keep it smoother and so it's not going to come out of place and then I like to just do that just to give a little bit of lift there so yeah this is how I would then leave my hair this literally I won't have to do anything to my hair for like it's Monday today, so probably, I'll probably wash my hair again next on Friday, so literally this, I will just leave this now. Like, in the morning, when I wake up, I won't brush it because it'll just go frizzy. I will just use some more of my oil, smooth things out again. If I feel like it gets a bit flat, just put a bit of dry shampoo in, and literally, you are good to go, girl. It's so easy so like easy maintenance like it lasts ages and then all i find obviously because if you're not brushing your hair for a few days it's going to get a little bit you know so before i go for a shower when i'm about to wash it again i literally just take a tangle teaser and i just proper have a nice brush starting from the ends working up and then that helps everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see any more hair videos give this a little thumbs up so then um, I'll make some more and I'll know that you obviously like them. Please follow me on Instagram, my little apps right here and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all again.